Praise the Lord, praise Jesus. Praise the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I'm from the Rock Intercessor Ministries. I come here today to preach to you the word of Jesus Christ. Hoping that some of you give a light to God today, amen? Now, today's message is rest. Today's message is what? Rest. Do you rest? Because we live in a society today. There's a lot of too much entertainment. Activities. Even on Sunday. Like shopping. Like eating. Like driving. Like binge watching TV. So proper. Netflix. Amazon Prime. TV shows. To keep us busy. For us not to rise. You see? You see what the society have done in your life? To keep your eyes both busy. To focus on TV. No wonder today, many of you today have lost your visions because of television. Today the word of God is talking to you, my dear friend. You see, because God wants you to rise, and we are not resting, we are unresting society. And because we are not resting on the word of God, that's why today there are so many crimes. You name it, my dear friends. The Bible says that God created the world and everything he created. He said it was good. That was good. This was good. Everything God created was good, my dear friend. Yeah, my and the Bible said God, yeah, after creating the world yeah, on the seventh day, he rested, my dear friend. Yeah, right, the word of God is telling you here today, my dear friend, to return back to God. Amen? Now, if you look into the Bible, the Bible said that the seventh day God rested was about day. And the Bible said on that day, he said that day should be kept holy. It is a command. Yeah, today, today, you today, see? Today, yeah. So the word of God is telling you here today, my dear friend, to come back to Jesus Christ. Because on the resting day, the Bible said that God, after he had walked, after six days, on the seventh day, God rested. Are you resting, my dear friend? That's the question you need to ask yourself today. Because if you're not resting, my dear friend, you need a rest from God. This is the word of God speaking to you today, my dear friend. You see? The Bible says, He commanded me and you to do what? To keep it holy. The Sabbath day. The Lord says, Jesus Christ is called the Lord of Sabbath, my dear friend. As I have said, the Sabbath day is the day of the holy day that God says, you, my friends, you kept it what? holy. And today, Sunday, is a resurrection day. This is the day Jesus Christ was raised again from death. And because of that, the Bible says what? You should call it a resurrection day. And we go to church to worship God on Sundays. I wonder how many of you today go to the house of the Lord to find rest today? You are busy shopping, you are busy enjoying life, but you forget God. Let me warn you today that life that you are living today, God give you that time to live. Amen. The Bible says it is a duty of a man and woman to do what? To worship God. The Bible says, keep Sabbath day holy. You see? So the word of God is telling you today to think the kind of rest I'm talking about here today. It's not a rest. If you have a physical work, you just tired, you're just gonna sit on the couch and just watch TV. That is not the kind of rest the word of God is talking to you today, my dear friend. It's not only about physical exertion rest. You see, when I talk about rest, the Bible says we should rest in Christ Jesus. He is the Alpha, He is the Omega, He is the beginning, He is the end. Jesus Christ wants you today to rest in Him, my dear friend. Not about your physical rest. Sitting down watching television. That's why today many of you have lost your visions. Because you just been programmed to watch the wrong things. And because you are watching wrong things, that's why you're stuck in your bad habit. When I talk about your bad habit, I'm talking about your sinful lifestyle, my dear friends. You see? You see what the, 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 the TV have done in your life? Then again, when people die, we say they should rest in peace. Do you know the Bible says there's no rest in peace for the wicked? Are you smoking? Are you getting drunk? Are you taking weight? Are you sleeping around? All this lifestyle. The Bible says when you die, there's no rest for you. Think about these things, my dear friend. Think what you put in your body. The Bible says your body is the temple of the Lord. Amen? And the word of God is telling you today to find rest in Jesus Christ. In this life, the Bible says what you will see sorrows. But he said, take heart. Because why? Jesus Christ said, uh, overcome the world. So today, Many people die today will put in their two stones who say rest in peace. But the Bible said there's no rest in peace for the wicked. 
You see, there's no way you can live your life today. You distract God, you blaspheme God, you talk to a man of God the way you want, you do all this into our Lord Jesus Christ, and you think you're going to find rest when you die. There's no rest for the wicked, my dear friend. You need to repent today and give your life to Jesus Christ. The word of God is warning you today, my dear friend. Listen to what the Bible says in the book of Isaiah 14, verse 31. He said, those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. And they will walk and they will not grow weary. And they will march up like a wings, like an eagle. And they will run, they will not grow faint. You see, when you rest in God, my dear friend, God will give you supernatural power. Amen? You can come out here and preach the word of God. You will be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. The kind of rest I'm talking here is not you sitting down watching TV. No, 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 my dear friend. The rest you need today is to accept Jesus Christ today as your Lord and personal Savior. You see, because Jesus Christ invites me and you in the book of Matthew, chapter 11, verse 28. Listen to what he says. He said, Come to me, all who are heavy loaded and who are labored and heavy loaded, and I will give you rest. He said, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy. And my body is life. Here is Jesus Christ telling you to do what? To come into the rest. You can find rest today if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ. Amen. Think about this thing, my dear friend, you see. Because Jesus Christ knows the yoke that you have. Many of you today have different kind of yoke. You are yoke under slavery of your sin. You are yoke under the yoke of alcohol, yoke of drugs, yoke of anger. Yoke of sexual immorality, yoke of slander, yoke of fear, yoke of false religion. Different kind of yoke that you have been under today. You see, my dear friend, without Jesus Christ, he can fix your drinking habit. He can fix your life. He can fix your gambling. He can fix your home. He can fix nothing. He can fix your marriage. He can fix smoking weed, drugs, all this habit. He can fix your sex addiction. He can fix your... You can fix nothing, my dear friend. If you try to go it alone, you cannot fix it. Yeah, our Lord Jesus Christ is inviting you. He said, take my yoke. My yoke is easier. My body is light. Many people today that have pride in them and they try to go it alone. You see, what you have inside you today, you can pretend about it. You can massage it. You can say, you don't have yoke, my dear friend. Every one of us have yoke. Now, the question here is this. What kind of yoke do you have? Because Jesus Christ said, take my yoke. My yoke is easy. And my body is light. You see? You are suffering today inside. God wants you to do to work with him, not working against God. The Bible says this in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 20. For the creation has been subjected to facility, not willingly. It's, you see that? Because why? Of him who subjected it. Listen, God put your heart. There's a missing link in your heart, my dear friend. There's a missing link today in your life. That missing link is not drink, it's not alcohol, it's not smoking. The missing link you have in your life today is Jesus Christ. Your heart is yearning for him. The Bible said it clearly that all the whole creation has been subjected. Think about this, my dear friend. Be subjected to God. Futility. Not willingness. It's not by your will that you want. Your heart is missing something. That's a missing link in your life. That's a missing puzzle in your life. And that missing puzzle today, my dear friend, is our Lord Jesus Christ. If you don't know him, my dear friend, you're you on your own. That's why today, look into your life, you stuck with your bad habits, you stuck with cigarettes, you stuck with drinking, you stuck with habits, you stuck with sleeping around, you stuck with sex, it's, you name it. All these things are from the world. And because you don't know Jesus Christ, he's calling you today, not tomorrow. He wants you today to repent from your bad habits. He wants you today to repent from your sin. You see? Because the Bible said it clearly that the whole creation has been subjected to, for, to, what, to futility. Not willingly, but God made it possible. God made it in that way. You put it in this way. If you have a car, your car needs a petrol. Not that you want, your car needs what, a petrol. You are my dear friend. You cannot function without Jesus Christ. You need Jesus Christ in your life today, not tomorrow. Because tomorrow may never come for some of you. The word of God is warning here today. You see, how, you see how clever we are? We're driving a car. Look at them driving a car. They need a petrol. Without petrol, the car cannot function. Without Jesus Christ, my dear friend, you can pretend, you can massage it, you have a problem. And the problem you have here today, without Jesus Christ, you have no life. Think about these things. 
You see? So you need Jesus Christ. Without Jesus Christ, you cannot function. You are existing, but you are not functioning. The purpose the Bible says created you in the book of Christianity it say it is a duty of a man to serve God and to keep his commandment. To worship God. That's why you've been created. Today is Sunday. Many of you today you are shopping around, you are eating around, you are walking about around. When was the last time you visited church? Think about these things. Everything is back open again. You can't give God the schools that things were closed. You can go today, find a church nearby you today and worship God. If you don't have a church, meet me here. When I finish, I'll direct you to a church, my dear friend. And for the Rock Intercessor Ministry, by the way, we are serving a living God. I'm just a Western Union boy sending the message. The message here is today you need a rest. And that rest, you can only find it in Christ Jesus Christ. He can find it in drugs. He can find it in drinking. He can find it in sex. He can find it in money. All these things we go. But guess what? You will perish in your sin. Just Christ warned us. He said, if you do not repent, you will perish in your sin. You need a rest today. Many of you today have a broken relationship. You have a, you have a yoke of uh, debt. You have a yoke of sleepless night. You have a yoke of sickness. You have all this yoke. And here is our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, he's inviting you. He said, take my yoke. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. He said, learn from me because I am gentle and humble in heart. That's God talking to you today. That's not me. I'm just Brother Kinsley preaching you the message. And the message here today is for you to receive Jesus Christ. Listen to what Jesus Christ said in the book of John 8 verse 34. Just while speaking here, I say, truly, truly, I say to you, everyone who practices sin is a slave to sin. If you practice sin, you are a slave to your sin. A slave doesn't mean you have to go and work and then the person will not pay you. No, a slave is to your sin. Your smoking habit, your drugs addiction, your sleeping around, homosexuality, lesbian, all this is from this world. All this is a sin. False religion is also is a sin. The word of God wants you to repent today, not tomorrow. Tomorrow may not come. Some, some of us, none of us, you haven't guaranteed to live to tomorrow, my dear friend. That's not guaranteeing your life that you can live to tomorrow. That's why the Bible will say, if you hear the word of God, today is the day of salvation, not tomorrow, my dear friend. Listen to what Jesus Christ says. He said, a slave will remain a slave forever, but a son remains a son forever. And Jesus Christ says, if the Son of Man set you free, you are free indeed. The only person can set you free today from your addiction, from your smoking, from your drug habit, from laziness is Jesus Christ. The word of us standing here today to repent. Do you know that laziness is a sin? Laziness is a sin in the eyes of God. The Bible says he would not walk, don't eat. That's not me saying it. That's the word of God. It's biblical, spiritual here right now. I'll prove it to you. So you have to think about this thing. You see? Listen to me. Jesus Christ says, learn from me. I am gentle, I am humble in heart. With my yoke, you will find rest for your soul. What a handsome promise that God has given to you. So there's different kind of yoke here today. There's a yoke that you invited for yourself, that you take upon you. There's a yoke the society put upon you. There's a yoke that you yourself knowingly, physically, apply that yoke on you. You can change that yoke for yourself. God's looking upon heaven, come down in the flesh. Jesus Christ set us free from our sin. The Bible says here that inviting you. What a, a awesome, what about unthinkable invitation for our Lord Jesus Christ? He said, Learn from me, and my yoke is easy and my body is light. So today, don't go it alone. Jesus Christ said, Follow me. He said, What it means here is this. He said, Don't go it alone. He's inviting every man, every woman. But also including you, including me. The Bible says, come on to me. It's a personal invitation. It's not an invitation from your pastor. It's not an invitation from religion. It's not an invitation from doctrine. It's not an invitation from church. It's not an invitation from any ministry. It's an invitation, first of all, from God. Personal invitation, our Lord Jesus Christ and our Savior. It doesn't matter what kind of yoke you are. The, the Bible says, wake up from your slumber. You have a tiredness. You have worry, you have discouragement, you, have, you feel hopeless, you feel helpless, you feel exhausted, you feel all these things. Just Christ says, He will give you, give you a different kind of yoke. The yoke that you can carry. The yoke is not heavy. But you preach on this. The Bible says that, you put it in this way. If you go to a farm, 
in the Bible times, when you go there, you will see animals. You know what they do? God bless you, brother. You know what they do? The animals, they, they will be prowling the ground. They put two animals and they put on their neck chain to hold them so that they can pull together. Jesus Christ says, he wants to be part of that. He doesn't want you to go it alone. That's why he said, come to me, all who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He said, take my yoke. My yoke is easy, and my burden is light. So God wants to share your problem with you. Listen, Jesus Christ said, take my yoke upon you, and my yoke is easy. My burden is light. Think about this thing. He's saying, you have more room for you. You picture the two animals walking together in the field. Jesus Christ wants to walk with you by, by one side. Just Christ want to be one on your side. The reason here is this, because the two us things they can put together, they can work together, they can work longer. And just Christ says, they want to take that shit from you. You have so many work going on in your life. Whatever it is, God says he wants to be part of it. What an answer offer. God is offering you today that you want to share your suffering. That's why Jesus Christ said, take my yoke upon you. And my yoke is easy. Do you have a yoke of relationship? God wants to share with you. If you receive Jesus Christ today as a personal Savior, you will partake. He will partake in your suffering, my dear friend. That is what he wants to hear from you. You have to open your mouth to ask him today. He said, oh, who are heavy loaded, and I will give you rise. My people today are suffering because of lack of knowledge. The Bible says in Hosea, because of lack of knowledge, my people perish. Many people today are suffering, dissatisfied, whatever they have, or whatever the situation is, the Bible says God wants to share that yoke with you. Jesus Christ calling you today. We have a society of fear, fearful people being enslaved in their own punishment of what fear, suffering, sickness, you name it, death. But the Bible says that God cares for you and God loves you and they want to share that problem with you. I mean, are you going to try us? The Bible says in the first Peter chapter 5, verse 7. Cast all your anxiety on him. That's just Christ. Because he cares for you. The Lord said, cast your anxiety on him. Because he cares for you, my dear friend. Jesus loves you. And precisely, he came and died for you. If you are the only person in this earth, Jesus Christ will come and die for you, by the way. It doesn't matter who you are. Jesus Christ loves you. He died for you. And it's to set you free from your sin. Because what you have here today, we have a house full of dirtiness, and God comes to clean the house. And your house is your body. You put it in this way. If you have a dirty color, what you do? You wash it. You see how smart we are? If you have a dirty rag, you put it in the bin. The Bible said today, put your sin in the bin. And accept Jesus Christ today as your Lord and personal Savior. Because he cares for you. You want to be free today? Accept Jesus Christ. It is possible? Yes, it is possible. You see today, are you frustrated? Are you confused? Are you hopeless? How do you feel? Just Christ said he will give you rest. You have to receive that rest. If I receive the rest, I don't have to worry. If I'm in the rest of our Lord Jesus Christ, I'm not troubled. If I'm in the rest of our Lord Jesus Christ, I have a peace of mind. That's why Jesus Christ said, Come to me, all who are laden, heavy, laden, labored, and I will give you rest. He said, Take my yoke upon you. Jesus Christ is calling you. You want to share your yoke with him. He said, Come to me. He will give you relief from your burden. Of what? Insufficient living. The burden of what? Of your self-righteousness. Because your self-righteousness is a fitter in the eyes of God. The burden of you putting all these things into you. Or what is that I put into you. Just Christ said, come and you will find rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy and my body is light. Jesus Christ make you a wonderful offer and a wonderful invitation today. He said, come to him that you can learn. And he will lead you just as a mother leading a, a son, a daughter. God loves you, my dear friend. You are, I want you to change your mindset today. Because the Bible says, test and see that the Lord is good. My Lord is good. Jesus is good. Jesus Christ loves you. He died for you precisely for that reason. And he wants to save your soul. Your soul is so important for God that you have to send his own son. His only begotten son. And he came in a fresh and died for you. You see, you see the love God has for you, my dear friend? Opting back. God is calling you today. He wants to give you a rise. He said, take my yoke. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. Hallelujah. So the yoke of Jesus Christ is easy and light. To compare the yoke the society offers you, 
to compare the yoke the government offer you, to compare the yoke that you want to take upon yourself. You see, you have nothing to worry about when you give your life to Jesus Christ. The Bible says it's gentle, it's lonely in heart. Think about that. He has displayed that love for me and for you at the cross of Calvary. And that's why the Bible says, you will find rest for your soul. You can match this gift. You see, it is a profound for everyone who comes to our Lord Jesus Christ. If you are accepting today, the Bible says in the book of John 14, verse 27, it says, peace I live with you. My peace I give you, not as the world offers to you. You see, because in this life you will see trouble. He said, be not afraid. Because he have overcome this world. That's why the book of John 10, 10 said that Jesus Christ come to give you life. Life in abundance. Everlasting life. Amen. God bless you, brother. Jesus Christ loves you. Give your life to him today. And the life that you are living today without Jesus Christ, you are living in vain. Because when you die, you can see God. You can go and drink around. You can go and have sex party. You can go to clubs and bars. You can do all these things. When you die, you can never see God. And the word of God is warning you today. Today is the day of salvation, my dear friend. Give your life to Jesus Christ today. He said, take my yoke. My yoke is easy. My body is light. He calls us full assurance for our Lord Jesus Christ. He said he can bear that yoke with you. And he will lighten up for you today. Also called the lazy life. He also calling you today. He's demanding that you share that relationship with him. Because why? His yoke. It's easy and his body is light. So the yoke of just Christ, he wants to bear it. The Bible said it plainly and clearly for you to understand. My yoke is easy, my body is light. And that's why today God wants to share that problem with you. Whatever the problem may be, you think about this. God says he wants to share your problem with you. You have to make a choice today to serve Jesus Christ. He's calling you today because today is our salvation, not tomorrow. He wants you to repent today. Repent and give your life to Jesus Christ. But what we do here today in society on Sunday, we feed ourselves shopping around, eating around, going around, driving around. But we don't go to church anymore. This used to be a Christian country, by the way. Not anymore. Many people today have moved away from the faith. And God says that He wants to give you rest from your trouble. He wants to give you rest from your from your iniquity. He wants to give you rest from, from, from your sin. He wants to give you rest, internal rest. That when you die, my dear friend, if you give a heart to Jesus Christ today, you will see him when you die. But without Jesus Christ, my dear friend, you life is meaningless. It's pointless. All you just do is a cycle. You born like a baby. You crawl. You walk. You eat. You grow, your mother feed you. When you grow up, you get a job. When you get married, you start feeding yourself, you start feeding your children. But that's what happened. After all this sacrifice, they're going to die. And God said, He wants to give you rest. And without Jesus Christ, when you die, you can't see God. I don't know what they're doing in the society. I don't know what they're doing in the religion. But the Bible tells me that without Jesus Christ, there's no peace for the wicked. You are working on God's property. You are enjoying the God's son. You are enjoying the fresh air. And still, you don't go to church. You don't serve God. You don't worship him. The Bible says you are the wicked person. And God wants you today to save you from your sin. The Bible says, come to me, all who are heavy loaded, and I will give you rest. He said, take my yoke. My yoke is easy, and my burden is light. So Jesus Christ is inviting you today. The book of Revelation 3 says, it's knocking at the door of your heart. It's knocking non-stop. If you open, he say, we'll come in and eat with you. God wants to share your problem with you. You don't want you to go alone. Look at the life everybody will go alone. They regretted Judas go alone. He regretted it. Pharaoh go alone. He regretted it. A lot of people that will have inside to do it. Hitler go alone. He regretted it. You name it. All these false religions that are going alone, they regretted it. But the Bible said, come to me, all who are heavy loaded, and I will give you rest. So today, my dear friend, today, accept Jesus Christ today as your own personal Savior, so that you can have rest when you die, and that rest is eternal life, because the Bible says, come to give you life, and give you life abundantly. Remain blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen and amen.